Well, what's being called a groundbreaking new treatment for cancer tonight is offering a tremendous amount of hope in the search for a cure. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom talked with doctors and joins us live now with what they are calling very big news. Andrea, this sounds very exciting. It is very exciting. And you know what? If if you know someone who is battling cancer, if you've lost someone to cancer, I know you're probably always praying for a cure. I know I am. Well, today's news gets us one step closer. Cancer is leaving our loved ones to battle and fight like mad to survive. But sadly, many of them don't. What we all want is a cure. Patience may be a virtue, but those suffering are holding on for dear life. Unfortunately, scientific progress can be frustratingly slow. Well now, it's not just hope we have to hold on to. We have real progress. Meet Dr. Dio. Associate Professor of Oncology at Kermanos Cancer Institute. And meet Dr. Kraut. I'm the medical director of the Providence Cancer Institute in Novi and Southfield. They have some big news to share, and it is time to get excited. It is very big news in the immunotherapy world and cancer world, um, as big as it can be for the last few years. Well, this is a marriage of the body's natural immunity and modern science. An FDA panel is recommending approval for gene-altering therapy in the fight against cancer. Basically T cells that are taken from the patient and they're genetically modified so that they can recognize the tumor cells and they're infused back into the patient after giving some mild chemotherapy to make space for those cells. And these cells learn to recognize the tumor. They go in and they multiply many folds and they're able to kill the tumor cells. One of the big pushes is in this acute lymphoblastic leukemia in children, but it's certainly not limited to children. There, there are other diseases where this, where you got a target and you're going after it. This is a potentially curative therapy for some of these patients who didn't have much hope uh, even a few months ago when, when cells like these were not available. That's a sign of something that's going to continue to happen and it's going to spread to other diseases over time. The clinical trials have been very successful. This immunotherapy is saving lives. I think it's, it's very, very encouraging to see patients getting back to their normal life and being able to lead a normal life after being treated and getting to a cure with this, this modality. Everybody was wondering, okay, this, is, this looks really good on paper. How's it going to work in people? And it's working. And it turns out it's working. Wow, this is such great news. I want to tell you that the results of this T-cell therapy in leukemia are absolutely amazing. There have been patients with tumors like this size or in some cases bigger, and in 30 days in some cases, it can disappear. Now, the hope is that we can use this therapy in other cancers down the road. We're expecting final FDA approval sometime in September. Such great news. So happy to report it and share it with you. Reporting live, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action A News. A lot of people will be paying close attention to that. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah. Thank you so much tonight. Hey, here's